you know, every Christian has a testimony, the story of how they came to faith, the way they learned it, the process leading up to it. We all have that. All Christians have that, including me. And I just want to tell you my testimony and share how I became a Christian. So let's, let me tell you that. All right, so ever since I was born, I've been a Christian. I mean, I was kind of raised into a Christian family, although, though I was raised into a Christian family, I didn't care much about God or spiritual things and stuff like that. And I didn't even know much about it either. I didn't know much about sin. I didn't know much about Jesus and like what he did. I couldn't tell you much about Jesus at all. I could just say, um, just the guy that you may see on a statue outside those church buildings, you know? That pale guy. That's all I could really say about him. Didn't know who he really was, what he really did, and what exactly he means. Does that make sense? Means? And so I was like that basically my entire life. <laughs> my entire life up until I was 15. Yeah, 15, around 2016. When I was 15, I started to get a random conviction for a particular sin in my life. The sin, I mean, think about it. What are teenage boys known for? That's the sin right there. Porn, lust, and stuff like that. That was my sin that I was getting random conviction for. Because... Uh, I don't even know when I started discovering it, but for a long time, I just always knew about it and I would watch it. And especially coming around puberty age, it became something that was just a regular part of my life. Like, I'm not sure if I say it was an addiction. It might have been, but I never really saw it as an addiction. I just saw it as, oh, it's just what we do. It's what people do. It's what teenagers do. Like, stuff like that. It's normal and it's not bad. And on my fifth time, I started getting random conviction for it. Like, I just felt weird about it. I have no idea what led to it neither. It was just out of nowhere. Um, maybe it came from, I remember around that time I, was, I would go on those quizzes, you know those online quizzes? That would be like, uh, what's your spirit animal? Or stuff like that. Those random online quizzes. I took one about we go to heaven or hell and it asked questions like, how many bad things have you done? Have you done this? Have you done that? And it would judge you based off your works. And I'm pretty sure like Porn and sexual morality was one of the things that would ask you, are you in that? Because apparently that's a bad thing. I didn't really think of it as a bad thing. So I started thinking, huh, is porn really that bad? Because I always thought I was going to heaven. I thought, oh, I believe in God, so am I going to heaven? Right? I just believe in him. I didn't know what it means to believe in him. So that was another thing. Um, I also remember around this time I was really into motivational quotes. Like those quotes for success and stuff like that. I was really into it around this time. And I also remember looking at uh, Christian quotes around this time too. I can't remember if this was after I became saved and learned about God or just before, but I know around this time I was really into motivational quotes. That could have played a factor in it too. So yeah. See, it was mostly lust and porn. I remember I would look up about it to see if it was really bad. You know, is it going to send me to hell? Is it really that bad? Am I really lusting after the person in the videos have you ever done that before or have you ever had that moment where you just think oh well it's not bad I'm not lusting after them I'm just just enjoying it. I'm not lusting I wouldn't I wouldn't have sex with that person I mean I'm just having a mental fancy and stuff but I'm not actually having it nor would I actually have it but no it's, it's still lust it's still bad you may try to convince yourself that it's not bad but it's bad and it took me a long time to realize that. I kept thinking, oh, it's not that bad. I did, it's not all that. It's not a big deal. I did that a long time. I kept trying to convince myself, but the conviction would not go away. The conviction wouldn't leave me alone no matter how much I tried to convince myself. And after a while, I just accepted it. I thought, okay, maybe it is bad. Maybe I am doing something wrong. So... What? Does that mean I'm going to hell because I did it? Have I just burnt my bridge and ruined my chances? And then I started researching more about it. I remember, I think I was using this website, gotquestions.org. I think that was the website I was using that I learned about it. I still use the website today because, I mean, that website played a huge part early in my faith and it really helped me learn a lot about God. Like, I was using that website before I even actually read the Bible myself, which is, 
you should of course read the Bible, but it really did help me and, and learn. But it's a nice website, nice reliable website, although there are some articles that I may not really agree with. There are some things I may be like, eh, I disagree with that, or yeah, there's some articles, but overall, most of the time, they're a really nice reliable source, so I recommend that as a website if you have any Bible or spiritual questions or stuff like that. So yeah, as I was using that site, I started to learn more about God and what it means to sin, how we should respond to sin, what does it mean when we sin, and I learned who Jesus was and what it means that he died for us. So I heard the phrase, Jesus died for us, but I never knew what it means or what significance it had. But I learned what it means that Jesus died to save us from our sins and to bring us to a restored relationship with God, and... I believe at the time I mostly just accepted Jesus at that point because I really didn't want to go to hell. But over time I started to learn what it truly means to become Christian. Um, what it means that not only are we saved from hell, but we have a whole new relationship with God. We have fellowship with Him. He's our Father. He's our best friend, our closest companion. I learned what that means and how so that uh, God restores us to Himself. and. Basically, that's how I became a Christian. Just random conviction over porn and lust, which led to me researching about it and trying to justify it, which also led to me still feeling the conviction and eventually just accepting that it's wrong, and then learning what the gospel is and how Jesus loved us so much to save us from it so we don't have to go to hell and be separated from him and to have a relationship with him. So that is my Christian testimony. We all have one. Maybe yours is very similar to mine's. Some of you may really relate to mine. <laughs> I bet there are so many people who relate to it. The porn and stuff then eventually realizing it was wrong. Maybe especially when you're a teenager. I don't know. I just know that we all have a story what led us to God and maybe you haven't led to God yet. Maybe you watch this video and you may have a porn problem and you may see that it isn't a good thing to have. It's not something that God wants for us and it's wrong and it's sin. And you may learn from my story and maybe you'll do the same thing I did. Just hopefully you won't try justifying it. So that's my testimony. Uh, maybe share your testimony too in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.